Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tom. So today I had a bit of a brain blast that I wanted to share with you about myself personally. Uh, we're going to explore this thing called the three arrows, which is various feelings that we deal with. I've got this paint file presentation here. So we're going to, it's pretty dope. We're going to go through it. Um, to give a synopsis of what I, what the three arrows are. So they're different feelings, negative feelings that we have. The first arrow is the one that life hits us with. Uh, the second one is the negative way that we feel about ourselves or about our situation. And the third arrow is the feeling of FOMO from not checking technology or just FOMO anxiety or dopamine kind of getting screwed up, that sort of stuff. And what technology use can do for us is it can make these feelings go away. So if we have these different emotions, it can it can like numb ourselves from these feelings. We can have fun. We can be in a place of pleasure. We can have an escape. We can have a place where things are good. And then when we get off of technology, we get this like rush of feelings. And something that I had a, a lot of struggle with was trying to understand what I was even feeling. So I would like binge Clash Royale for a while and then I would I would stop and then I would be like, okay, we're going to, I would be like, all right, we're going to get away from Clash for a few hours. Like, screw this. I'm leaving my phone at home. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go somewhere, whatever. And I would find myself out there somewhere, whatever, feeling this ball of shit. And it was just this ball and it was like painful and I didn't know what it was. And so this presentation hopes to guide y'all on that and then also give a personal anecdote on what I've been going through. So I've been doing a three month detox from high dopamine technology and I've been actually like trying to understand each layer. So we're gonna, it, I don't know, I found it really cool. So that's why I'm making this video because I found the second part really cool. The first part I'm just like teaching you guys, whatever. But the second part I just found really cool and I, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna do stuff. So let's, let's go. So here we have like, I would call like the cake of emotions. And so like what tech use over here as, as I put over here, is it can numb our emotions, it can help us to not feel bad for things. It makes the cake go away. But if we learn like which arrow is which, we can start to actually like color the different layers of the cake. So now, like these are these are like the sort of three arrows. If we use technology, if we're, if we're like engaged in technology, we can make it all go away. And then when we get off of it, we'll like feel this ball of shit, which is like this, like this black shit. And then if we start to like actually notice like which thing is which, we can start to like figure out what's what. Uh, so 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 that's the basic idea of the cake. Now for me, what I've been going through, so I'm two months in to my detox, so I've got a few charts here. So what I've found is that I've been facing each arrow individually. So the first two weeks of my detox were like, it was weird, time moved slower, I was very hypervigilant, and like essentially, uh, like my feelings were really numb. And I was like down here. And then as I kept like going and going, I started feeling more and more. And by about two weeks, I started like feeling more things. So like, I was just like feeling more stuff. And then over here is like feeling less, just positive emotions, negative emotions, whatever, you know, over here, I was pretty numb. I was, I was like, time was slow, that kind of stuff. Time slow. And over here, I was just feeling more. So I was like getting pleasure out of eating chocolate. And then I was also feeling pain a little bit more easily, those sorts of things. But it's like life became more colored. And so essentially I had like removed this part of the cake. So I just went like this and I was like, after two weeks, bam, cake, cake demolished something. Then what I found is that I had trauma <laughs> and I had not felt it. And so I was now feeling stuff and that was really cool. And then what I found about three, four-ish weeks in is all of a sudden, like, that trauma came back to me and I felt it really strongly. And I felt it and I felt it and I felt it. And it, like, 
it basically was, I would go on hikes and I, it would be on the forefront of my mind and it was just like crazy. And then as I went along and I felt it, like I felt this stuff and I, I like thought about it and I processed it um, and I talked to people about it, that actually went down and now I'm more like here. So actually that feeling like sort of, that feeling like faded and now that eliminated like that that took a few that took like two weeks to process also that was, it was a pretty deep like relationship related trauma but once i processed it and detached myself from the person uh i now feel less feelings about it so it was like going like this and shaving off that part of the cake going bam cool so now what i'm experiencing is another feeling so as i've been so I'm, now I'm like, cool, like I, I don't feel like the pain of that trauma and I'm living my life and stuff. But what's been happening is I've been thinking about what's going to happen after the three month detox. And I've been thinking about like, what games am I going to play? What am I going to do when I get back? And all this kinds of stuff. And I've been experiencing a lot of boredom throughout the whole process. So like, it's just been like all boredom experience. And so what's been happening is that boredom has been like combining with all these fantasies of what I'm going to do when I get back and I'm feeling bored often. So I'm feeling not and not just bored, but I'm feeling like pain because I can't play the games that I want to play and I can't do the things that I want to do. And I'm just stuck in this place where I have to like sit here and not do anything and besides things away from screens and I'm just like suffering and I'm like, oh God. And it's been about uh, like 10 days so far where I've been feeling that. And I, and like what happens, what I've, what I've been noticing is that like the experience is kind of like this actually. So like every day it's like, I'll have, I'll be okay. Actually, it's kind of more like this. It's like, it'll go like down. And then like for a few hours I'll be on like, I'll be like chilling and I'll be fine. And I'll be in the present moment and then I'll like have fantasies and then I'll be like up here and I'm like, oh my God, it's so painful. And I'll be down here and then, you know, and, like every day seems to have like a, like a time where I'm feeling like a lot of pain and then a time where I'm feeling like, okay. And so that's been the experience so far, but essentially that's the third part of the cake. I don't know if this ever goes away by the way, but what's been happening is I've been noticing that and I've been feeling that and I've been trying to deal with that. So what I have been gaining is mental strength, mental fortitude, determination, grit. Like I'm like, I know I have these urges, but I'm not giving up. I'm sticking with the plan. I'm two months in, let's go one more month. Like I keep like reminding myself, like let's keep going, that kind of thing to try to battle this boredom and to try to battle these urges because they're very strong. They're like right in my face. They're like, hey, like if you just did this, you would just be away from this pain. And so that's something I've been experiencing. I thought it was really cool. Uh, I wanted to present it to you guys because I thought it was cool how I've been on this detox and what I've been learning about myself and trying to relate it to the three arrows, trying to also see it as like a cake where it, where it's like, it sort of like, as you, as you tackle each thing, you're removing layers of the cake. And that also that when you're using technology a lot, what it makes, it makes the cake like one big thing, but it also kind of makes it go away. You're like putting it away for later. So I wanted to share those concepts with you guys. I thought it was cool. And uh, yeah, have a nice day. Have a nice life. GG. I'm going to figure out how to end the video. There's my cursor. Sick. See you guys. Later.